Hey guys, how's it going? I'm excited to talk about the new update that came out this week for TF2 called the Love and War update. Now I'm sure all of you have seen it already and I just wanted to run down the changes and new things added and talk about my favorite things about this update. Kicking off the update, we have 5 new weapons added, 2 for, uh, for the soldier. You can see them in action here, we have the airstrike and base jumper. The base jumper is such a cool new addition to TF2, it's a parachute that you can activate in the air to sort of fall slowly to the ground, making rocket jumping a bit easier and you can go farther from one jump which is also cool because it replaces the gunboats so you'll be taking more damage per jump. Now the airstrike is what you just saw right there, it's a rocket launcher that shoots way faster than your normal rocket launcher when you're jumping, so paired with the parachute you become a pretty big monster in the air and while you're in the air you just completely hail down rockets really fast on people and if, if you aim them right you can find that you can just destroy people very easily now the next item is the tide turner for the demo man this is insane I can't believe they added this this shield allows you to retain all your turning ability so you could just u-turn like that earn achievements and destroy scouts when they have no idea what is happening I can I, seriously I'm not a big demo man guy so you won't be seeing a lot of cool plays right now this is pretty much the extent of my ability before I completely brutally die but I so far love this weapon I can't believe they added it and I uh, you know, Demo Man has D Demo Knight has become a lot better in a sense. It's seriously, I don't know what else you would need besides this shield for Demo Knight. I absolutely don't see a purpose for having any other item like the Wee Booties or any other shield because this is just the default de facto shield now for the Demo Knight. And of course, I'll be talking about that later. I'm not again, I'm not very good at Demo Knight, so you won't be seeing too much like awesome clips. Um, but I, I will go into more detail in a later video about this. Now on to my two favorite items added with this update. First is the classic for the sniper. At first I thought this was going to be ridiculous. You could charge your shot in scope or out, but really all it does is give you better awareness because you don't have tunnel vision all the time. Yeah, you can see right here I'm charging my shot and I'm moving a lot slower, but I uh, can't really just let go. I can't run around. Uh, I have to keep uh, charged and then I could you know, actually use it. Uh, and kill scouts like that. Um, but uh, I think it is this weapon, you know, you can actually no scope very effectively with this weapon. I think that's kind of more what I like to use this for. Um, and that's how I kind of like playing with it. And I think it's a step above the Sydney Sleeper, but I don't know if it's better than the regular rifle. I'll definitely go into more detail in another video about this weapon because I just love it so far. It's, it's amazing. Now my favorite item from this update has to be the backscatter for the scout. First of all, it looks and sounds really awesome, and second, it mini crits on the backs of people. You will see right now, this medic is running away from me, and with one shot I do like, I, I don't even know how much that was, I think it might have been 115 damage, I, I couldn't see, but I think if you get really close uh, up to a person you will do something around 140 damage on a hit. It is less accurate, but that's not really a big deal. I mean, I did notice it's a bit hard to hit land shots sometimes, but overall, it's it's all right. I thought it would be a, a gimmicky weapon at first when I read it, because you know it's like, oh, you know, Scout's gonna become the new spy. But I realized that after playing it, I ended up playing a lot more sneakily and uh, playing a little more smart. I wouldn't just run out at enemies. I would kind of find a better route to get right behind the enemy and just really wail at him. A couple of shots will just destroy anybody from the back. Even heavies, I think it takes maybe like two or three good shots and it will destroy a heavy just uh, completely. And so uh, I don't think it's, uh, you know, some people have been saying it is slightly overpowered. I don't think it's overpowered. I, I'll make a video about it, talking about that more in the future. But right now, I just love this weapon. I think it might be my favorite scout scatter gun. It might even be better than the stock scatter gun. For me, anyway, I personally like it more. Uh, and I think it fits the playstyle of scout perfectly. And I, I just absolutely love it. Now, of course, to the actual big update news of Love and War. Taunts, taunts, taunts. Yes, the square dance taunts, the conga taunts, the flipping, the scissors and rocks, rock, paper, scissors. You all know what I'm talking about. You saw it. You've realized that this game has been ruined forever. You cannot even play this game anymore because everybody just wants to sit around and dance. Well, you know what? I guess if that is what people want to do, that is what people want to do. TF2 maybe ruined forever by this, maybe it's been enhanced forever. Some people have been acclaiming it as the absolute best dancing hat wearing simulator out there. Uh, 
However, what I did find is that people aren't so keen on swapping over to this new dancing game mode. People have yet to embrace it, really, because I, I, I still end up dying all the time when I want to dance. People just aren't down to dance, and I feel like that is a cardinal sin that they are committing in just destroying a dancing a dancing person you know like how could they how could they do such an atrocity and live with themselves I don't know hopefully in a couple of days people will soon realize the power of dance and will move on to a whole new medium of entertainment so now guys I want to hear from you what did you love the most about the love and war update what did you hate did you hate all the random nerfs that they added to some of the most beloved classes in the game or did you like the new additions for the new weapons what do you think of the taunts do you love the conga line starting a nice dance off in the spawn rooms of every map out there you know I want to hear from you guys tell me what you think and tell me what your favorite item is from this update. And I will see you guys later with more uh, more gameplay, with all the new stuff, with some old stuff, with some random stuff. I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this video, and bye for now.